Hey there. Well, as I said in a text post, I think it would be awesome if there was a game that had the potential to be different every time you play it because it's generated by AI. I can picture having a bunch of sliders for how you want the game to be generated. There's size and complexity of the terrains or cities or worlds, whatever it may be. Make it too complex and the hardware will probably have a hard time handling it. Make it really simple and you might even, it might even look like a game from the 90s, but you're playing it at a nice resolution and, and with lots of nice effects and shadowing and lighting and such. You know, even on somewhat older hardware. Do you want the terrains and cities and worlds to be based on real things? On the real world? Or do you want it to be completely made up? There's also the complexity of the main character. You could be anything from something that resembles a human to amoeba or talking crystals. You know, the, the sky's the limit, right? There's how much dialogue is in the game and whether the dialogue applies to the main plot, if there even is a main plot. Another way of putting it is, do you want people saying things that are relevant or do you want them to just say something pretty random? You know, you'd have sliders for the plot as well. You know, how simple or complex do you want the plot to be? Then there's how completable the game is. Do you want it to be obvious as to what you're supposed to do and have it very, very, be very, very easy to do those things? Or do you want it to be almost impossible to figure out what you're doing? Are you just tinkering around, you know? I mean, there'd obviously have to be some standards, like controls and such, and hardware compatibility, but a lot of things could be left in the hands of AI. This sort of thing would take me back to Atari 2600 days, where I would spend hours and hours tinkering with the power switch to, to mess with the power in just the right way so the game would play in a wrong way, play in a way it wasn't designed, and you had no idea what it was going to offer you. I mean, you never even knew if it was going to be playable. Oftentimes it wasn't. And that was the entire fun of it. You had no idea what you were going to get. I guess it was kind of like a box of chocolates, right? The things that I usually get bored with with so many games simply wouldn't be an issue with this type of game. You know, if I completed a task, if, if it really was a task, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have this feeling like something is telling me, Oh, you're doing such a good job, Johnny! I, I wouldn't have that. You know, especially if it isn't even possible to figure out what you're doing, you know, in that particular generated game. But it would probably be quite a while before something like this would even be feasible, like, you know, maybe eight or ten years or something. And you'd almost definitely have to pay a monthly fee to use their services. And I'd be fine with that, because I'd be spending hours and hours at it. Just tinkering around. Hey, what does this do? You know, it would, it would be a blast. Seriously, this game would be a source of never-ending fun for me. Now, on a side note, I mean, besides this, this concept that I'm talking about, I just think it would be cool if there was more of a focus on low polygon, not overly complex texturing, but lots of modern effects and lighting. Make it pretty, but still look like a game, you know? Lonely Mountains Downhill is a very, very good example of this type of concept. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of burned out on games constantly trying to look as realistic as possible. I mean, does it really help the gameplay? Does it help the game to have, you know, oh, look, look, you can see the, the pores on his face. I mean, it's, it's impressive on a technical level, right? But do, does it help? Do you want to play the game more simply because it looks realistic? I mean, if, if that's the case, that's fine. Not, nothing against that. People should enjoy what they enjoy. But I guess I just can't relate to that side of it, you know? But I came from, you know, Atari 2600 days where everything's all blocky. So anyway, thanks for watching.